Greetings! In this lesson, we will cover light functions, a type of material allowing you to change the behavior of your movable and stationary lights. We will be dealing with materials, so make sure to watch my lesson on master materials and instances to better understand some of the things we'll be doing. So let's jump right in. So far, our lighting setup is giving good results, but it feels a bit static. A nice touch would be to add brightness variations in some of our lights simulating electrical malfunctions. This is where light functions are useful. A light function is a type of material that can only be used by movable and stationary lights. It is used to modulate the intensity, but can also be used for more advanced effects. Be aware though that light functions cannot change the color, only the color option can do that. So let's create our own flickering light. In the asset browser, right click and add a new material that will serve as a master for our light function. You can name it capital M underscore flickering light. Open it and in the detail panel, change the material domain to light function. This will leave only the emissive output to work with. Right click in the graph to search for a node called time. You might have guessed, this will keep track of time to animate the flickering. Drag out the time output pin and let go to search for a multiply node. Now, from the B input, drag out and search for a scalar parameter. Change its name to something like flickering speed. In the details panel, give it a default value of 1. Let's get our multiply and drag out the pin to search for a sign. This is a sine wave, which is used here to fluctuate the intensity. Let's continue with frac. This will break the sine wave and add variations. Before completing this material though, I'd like to challenge you. Add parameters to control the minimum and maximum intensity. Pause the video, give it a shot, otherwise I'll continue with the solution. Drag out the frac and search for clamp. This node is designed exactly for what we want. For the max input, create a scalar parameter named max intensity with a default value of 1. For minimum, take shortcuts and duplicate max intensity using Ctrl W. Rename it accordingly, but now change the default value to 0. And there you go! Congratulations to those who made it! Also, using different techniques can get you the same result, so don't worry if you came up with something different. Finally, drag out the clamp in the emissive color and we're done. Now you can use Ctrl B to quickly find your material in the content browser and right click on it to create an instance. Next, we select our light and in the details panel, under the light function category, drop your instance onto the material slot. Now open the instance that you've created and play with the parameters to dial in the effect that you want and voila! And this wraps it up for this lesson. Flickering lights are basic light function but can add to realism a lot. Plus, it can be used for more than just flickering. Experiment with textures and trick the viewer for little performance cost. So until next time, you take care and have fun.